Hey guys, we're here for video 10, um, inheritance patterns. Now there are basically five types of inheritance patterns. The first one, simple dominance, is one that we've spoken about before. Basically in it, you know, you've got big B, big B, big B, little B, and little B, little B. And if we said that big B was dominant and it was black, these two would be black and this one would be white. Now we know that every trait in the world is not governed by simple dominance because that was true we don't have two hair colors we'd have only two eye colors two skin colors so we know that's not true so the other four possibilities it could be is incomplete dominance co-dominance multiple alleles and polygenic inheritance now i'll speak about each one of these briefly on the next slides the first one is incomplete dominance it says exactly it does exactly what the name implies incomplete dominance means that neither trait or neither allele is completely dominant so you have an appearance of a third phenotype. Now, if you go back to Mendel's experiment, you remember he took a tall pea plant and he crossed it with a short pea plant, and the results he got were all tall. Now, that's probably not what you thought was going to happen the first time. You probably thought he was going to get some mediums in there. Well, if it was governed by incomplete dominance, you'd have been exactly correct. Tall and short would have made a medium. Black and white would make a gray. Red and white would make a pink. That's an incomplete dominance. Now, let's look at the genotype of this. So this one here, pure tall would be big T, big T. Pure short would be little t, little t. So the medium is the heterozygote individual. Pure black would be big B, big B. Pure white would be little b, little b. The heterozygote individual would be gray. Big R, big R would be red. Little r, little r, white. Big R, little r would be pink. So that's the first type of inheritance pattern. Still, the punch squares are worked out the same. The next one is codominance. Codominance means that both alleles are equally dominant. So in this case, you have an appearance of the heterozygote that has both colors in it or both traits. For example, if you have black and white, a black individual, which would be in this case, since they're both dominant, be big B, big B, and it's crossed with a white that's also dominant. The checker chicken would be big B, big W. Checker chicken has equal numbers of white and black feathers. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you a fictitious example next, but it's the best way to understand it. If you had a white horse and a black horse, they mated, and it was under codominance, you would create a zebra. So you, have, you see the black and the white in the offspring. Now, this is totally false. This is not a real example. All right, the next one is multiple alleles. When more than two alleles control a single trait, um, and we have eye color, our blood types, um, you know, skin color is determined by multiple alleles. Think about it. There's too many colors for it to be just one or even, I mean, just one allele because you only have two possibilities or three. The Chinchilla Bunny Rabbit on page 273 shows you a picture of this. And if you'll turn to that page, you'll notice that chinchilla, chinchilla bunny rabbits um, are the little c, little ch, but the, a normal looking bunny rabbit at the top there has a big c. Then you have a little c with um, a ch on it, which stands for chinchilla bunny rabbit. And then you got a little c with a h on it, stands for Himalayan. Bunny, bunny rabbit, and then you got a little C which stands for albino bunny rabbit. Now, what this means is this the normal bunny rabbit you can get in three ways. Anytime you got a big C along with a little C, you have a normal looking bunny rabbit. Chinchilla, though, chinchilla is dominant to these two, but it's recessive to this one. So, chinchilla you can get in two ways. I mean, oh, I messed up here. Let me start over. You can get it in two ways. Little CCH, little CCH, or little CCH, little CH, or little CCH, little C. Easy for me to say, right? Now, Himalayan is dominant to albino, but recessive to the other two. So there's only two ways you can get it. Little CCH, little C, little C. Now, albino, which is the pure white one, there's only one way. So they go down, I mean, different, uh, they go down, okay? Now, the last type of inheritance pattern is polygenic inheritance. Polygenic inheritance means that poly means many, so it can be found on more than one gene. Now, you can have some things that are both polygenic and multiple allelic, or polygenic and incomplete dominant, so you can have multiples. 
And this is, this one is polygenic, means it's found on more than one gene and skin color will be an example. All right, I hope this clarifies some things for you for video 10. Um, good luck, and let me know if you have any questions.